Hi guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. So in this video, I'm going to share a few empties and probably a little bit of a chit chat. So if you're curious, stay tuned. Thank you so much for coming back. I don't have a whole lot of empties and you know, I think sometimes I just forget to gather up my empties. I sort of have a, a basket I keep in the bathroom and that's fine. I put it in the bathtub and I dump my empties in there when I'm in the bathroom. But when I'm in the rest of the house, you know, in the kitchen and all that, I, I never even think of it. So a couple of things that I have empty that I have repurchased and really like that I often don't really talk about. Now, these two I have specifically for the dry eye, right? My dry eye's been under control, knock on wood, thank goodness. So one of the things that I've been doing is I've been taking an Omega-3 Mini, and this is a thousand milligrams fish oil every day. I take two of them every day in the morning just to help keep me moisturized, I guess. I'm not a f huge fan of the fish oil in general, the taste or anything of that nature. This really doesn't have a bad taste and I don't get any burpees from it type of thing, which in the past, sometimes fish oil, I have that and I just, ugh, it's so gross. So I repurchased and I just bought the Spring Valley. I think I probably got this in Walmart or maybe even Walgreens, I'm not too sure. So this is the one I use and my dry eye routine so far has been working really well. The other thing that I use for my dry eye is my soothing eye wash. I had bought an eye wash off of Amazon. I can't remember the name of it now. I'd have to look in my Amazon basket. And I really liked it. But when I ran out, I didn't want to order from Amazon. So I went into Walgreens and I looked for something that had the similar ingredients that I could use as an eye wash. And I got the Walgreens Soothing Eye Wash. I use this every day. After I take off my eye makeup at night, I will wipe very gently around with a, um, you know, a pad, a little cotton pad, or sometimes just my fingers and soak all of this into my eyes after the fact, after I remove my makeup. So both of these are repeats for me. And both of these have been working really well. One thing that I am ordering and I don't have it yet, is I am ordering the electric eye mask that I have in, you know, that I use at night. I did get that off of Amazon, and the only reason I'm ordering another one is that the one I have, sometimes when I wash it, because I don't throw it in the dryer, it's an electric eye mask, so I wash it by hand and then I let it dry, and sometimes it takes a while to dry, so I thought it would be good to have a second one, plus also when I'm camping. So I have ordered that, it is coming, and I really like that electric eye mask. I probably, it's on a timer. I know you guys have heard me say this before. So sometimes I put this on, I'm listening to a podcast, I fall asleep, it shuts off after an hour. Sometimes I get up in the middle of the night and I go to the restroom or whatever and I come back and I plug it back in. So I really like that eye mask an awful lot. I do have another one that I can put in the microwave, but it isn't as convenient as the one that's electric that I can have plugged in and just turn on by my bedside. So I really like that a lot. L'Oreal Magic Root Cover Up. Man, I go through a lot of these with my bio hair. My bio hair um, has been super thin and I've, been, I've just tried something new. I'm on my third week of it. I'll say, I'll talk about it in a separate video. But I just tried something new for my thinning hair. But one of the things that I've been trying to do is not process my hair as much. So I've been wanting to get away, get, get rid of some of the brassiness in my bio hair. So I've been letting it go more gray with low lights and highlights mixed in so it doesn't look gray. But the, the Magic Root cover up, when the roots get there and you can see the gray line, I'm like, uh, so I spray this. And I really like this. Now, it isn't, it's not gonna, it's not permanent by any stretch, but and it, it hasn't, I've been caught in the rain and stuff like that. I haven't noticed any kind of fallout or drip off or whatever. Um, if, if you see it on sale, definitely, I, what I do is if there's a coupon sale or something, especially in Walgreens, I'll buy a couple of them. I really like it. This is the medium blonde that I have. I also have one that's a brown, a darker color. 
because I like the highlight low light look. So I will tend to spray sometimes both of them. So the L'Oreal Magic Root Cover-Ups is the one that I prefer. I really like it a lot. And it just, especially when I put my hair up, like when I put my hair up and I put the little fake buttons in the back and I pin my hair up, I really need this to tone down any gray look that might pop out. I know some of you ladies are embracing gray and I think that's fantastic. I'm just not there yet. I'm not there yet. So I'm going to cover it up as much as I can. And this has been working really well for me. I don't know how many of these I've purchased. I've purchased a lot of them. The other thing that I really like is the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. I think I might have talked about this in one of my other empties. I had two going. Finally emptied the last one. I just got the new replacement in about a week or so ago. I think it was Marlene Fab and Glam that talked about this. Well, for me, when I put this on and I close my eyes and I put it on my fingers and I massage it very gently into my eyes and I just slowly do it in circular motions, massaging it into my eyes and I can feel, you know, that my mascara is lifting off. You can, you can feel that. So after maybe, I don't know, 30 seconds, um, I'm ne I never really time it and I'm never in a rush. I then rinse it off and then I'll use my regular cleanser. I just use this on my eye makeup. And for me, it works really good. I've tried a couple of other products that I got at the drugstore that was supposed to be just as nice. I think one was Physician's Formula. I have it here somewhere. I didn't like it. It didn't seem to work as nice as this. I just like the texture of this. It doesn't leave my eyes, my skin oily. It takes the makeup off without any tugging or rubbing. There's no smell to it. It's clean. I, it's clean. I don't know if it's clean, clean, but it's, you know, it, it leaves me, my eyes looking really clean. So I really like this a lot. Got the replacement. And that was Marlene Fab and Glam that had originally talked about that. Uh, Mercy Handy. <laughs> this is a clean deodorant, Flower Power. This was sent to me quite a while ago. Gosh, I don't even know how long ago. Via the Octoly Network from Mercy Handy to try. I have used this and used this and used this. This is packed. I've, I've taken it on trips. I've taken it out in the camper. It's finally empty. And it took me a while to empty it. And I'll tell you, I like this deodorant a lot. It it made me, it, there wasn't a smell to it. There was no powdery residue. Uh, I, I felt clean. I felt fresh. It did everything it claims to do on me. I really liked it. There was no reaction with my skin. And I would definitely, definitely repurchase this again. Again, I said this was, I think I said, this was sent to me via the Octoly Network from Mercy Handy quite a long time ago in exchange for a review. I like it. It has my seal of approval. If you're fussy about deodorants, this might be something you might want to try. Oh, QMS. This was... Sheila had talked about this, and I think I had bought two or three of these. And if I can find it again, because it's quite expensive, but we got it quite reasonable on eBay. And it was the real deal. So if I can find this again, I will buy it. I think out of all the eye creams I've used, this one leaves me feeling the best. And that's QMS, and I'm don't know if you're going to be able to find it. I don't even know if Sheila's gotten another one yet or if she's still on her, the ones we bought a while ago. I am a heavy product user, so I don't go lightly on anything, including my retina. You know, I dip my fingers in and I, I'm a heavy user. So this you probably could, it would probably last a lot longer than, than it does on me because of the fact that I have heavy fingers and I just dip it in and, and just, you know, use it. Nail polish. I hardly ever use nail polish right now. I have just been going through a thing. I haven't had, I haven't gone to have a manicure. I haven't gone to have a pedicure. I don't have pretty nails when I show products. My nails are short, stubbly, um, not the best. But, um, and I don't use the best product. I did just recently order a glass nail file. I'm going to try the glass nail file and see how it does because I have a lot of ridges and I sometimes think that that file is probably helping to contribute to that, to tearing up my nails. So I use a lot of the Equate products. 
I like Equate. Um, if they're the same ingredients as in other product, I buy the Equate because it's a lot cheaper. So I'll let you know when that glass nail file comes in, but I'm really excited to try it and see if it does help my, help my nails a little bit. I don't know. So CYO finally finished it. I know, CYO, they don't even make it anymore. Love, love, love this foundation. This is the one that for a while you could only get in uh, London, and I really don't know whether they could even, even get that there now. And then I get the e.l.f. Brow Instant Lift Brow Pencil. So this one's gone. And I think this is the taupe. It's got the little brush, the little spoolie brush on the end. I have another one. I've got actually two of these that I have as a replacement. I really like this. I pencil my brow in. I comb it through. Then I use, I think it is an essence, uh, sort of a brow. It, it's, um, I don't even know what you call it. It's like a wax. And I put that on to kind of hold them in place. My brows are very light. I have been using a product to kind of increase the density of my brows, but it's too soon for me to really even report back on that. But so far, I, I am definitely liking it. So that's a couple of my empties. So update on my mother. We're still waiting test results on mom, and she's, she has good days and she has bad days. She lives alone. She's a very independent, very strong woman, and we are all trying to rally around her to do as much as we can, to be there as much as we can for her. So my sister and I uh, are, both of us, you know, I work full time, my sister works, she's got a travel agency, she's a, it's a boutique travel agency, and she does that from home. So she goes through spurts of being super busy at work because she books a lot of cruises. So if you know anyone that's wanting to go on a cruise, reach out to me and I'll give you my sister's contact information for them. So we're, we're sort of alternating, you know, always like keeping in touch with each other. My sister knows when Jay and I are going away, when we're camping and all that. So, um, you know, we're doing the best we can with helping my mom as much as we can. We're waiting for some more test results, but there's only so many tests my mom is willing to do. And she's, she's totally of a sound mind, so she can make her own decisions. It isn't like someone has to make a decision for her. But at 94, she's a very vibrant woman, has led a great, wonderful life, and suddenly she's sick. And that's hard for her to, to adapt to, which I can certainly understand. So really not much to report there at all. Uh, as far as my Mohs surgery, that is still scheduled. I think I told everyone, or maybe not, June 1st. So when we, it'll be right after Memorial Day weekend. I'm kind of really nervous about it. I'm trying not to be, but I am really nervous about it. I, I remember showing you guys those cute little band-aids that I bought. Well, I'm going to be having to use them. I've got a couple of training jobs booked, and I'm going to be, like, looking weird. So I know it's probably just vanity, but I am, I am a little bit nervous about it. So, um, but that's coming up, and I, I will probably film a little bit of it. We'll see how I do. I've got some befores and afters and different things that I can add into it and and share it with you the process. I think the thing to remember is that if you see something different on your skin, I mean you know your skin well, right? If you see something that looks different, you should have it looked at like right away. Don't don't hesitate, don't wait, don't think, oh, it's nothing, because that's what I did, you know, oh, it's nothing, it's going to go away. I mean, I had that spot on my side of my nose for a good long time, you know, a good long time. So, anyways, that's, that's the story on that, that's coming up, Memorial Day weekend, a lot of people are going away camping and, and all of that, I'll share some of that um, at a, uh, on a video when I, you know, after the holidays. I will probably have a video recorded that you will see on Memorial Day or during that weekend sometime. I'll also have a couple of wig reviews that I'm going to be doing and things that I want to talk about for hair and also the product that I bought. I actually bought the product in Walmart, so um, I'm pretty surprised I found it there, but I did. So anyways, I'll talk about that in another video. I appreciate all of you coming back, watching my videos, thumbs up in the videos, leaving me comments. I know I've been so scattered as far as responding. And I just appreciate your understanding. Life has been a little bit topsy-turvy. And, oh, my foot, that's what I wanted to tell you. Um, I went out for a bike ride <laughs> on my foot. I went out for a bike ride. I put on my Teva sandals, those sports 
drappy sandals because I can't get my foot inside a sneaker. I, c I could, but it would hurt too much. So I went out for a bike ride and my Tevis did really great. So I felt super awesome. And that's really about it uh, for my empties. I keep forgetting, like I say, to add things to it that I just toss in the kitchen. But just wanted to update you all on that. I, again, appreciate every single one of you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.